field where the sun is actually getting very bright indeed. Steve Fuller leads out the Dallas Cowboys, and it has been an up and down year for this young man named as the starter at the training camp of the Cowboys this year. He's had some very good moments. He's had some difficult moments. The club is two and four, and as Dan Jugget said at the top, they all know in Dallas that's the bottom line. He's got to get them into the wing column. 26 years old, his fifth year from Washington, the number five pick in 1984. And first down, Herschel Walker gets about three running out the right side behind Kerr and Gogan. And defensively, the top team in the NFL, Al Harris, Steve McMichael, Dan Hampton, and Richard Dent. The linebackers, Rivera, Singletary, and today, rookie Dante Jones out of Oklahoma makes his first start. Richardson, Besty Jackson, Maurice Douglas for the injured Sean Gale, David for the uh, injured Dave Dewerson, and David Tate for Sean Gale. So you've got two rookies, and Douglas, who is uh, not the most experienced of the Bears defensive backs. But on second down, Walker is stopped by Ron Rivera. Offensively, the Cowboys with Pelurit quarterback, Walker and Newsom the running backs, Ray Alexander, Kelvin Martin are the wide receivers, Thornton Chandler the tight end. They have a banged up receiving core. Two and a back and tackle with Newton Rafferty, Kerr, and Gogan. Now remember the top pick Michael Irvin out of action. Kelvin Edwards is hurt. They would be the starters at wide out. And Doug Cosby, the tight end with an Achilles problem in uniform but not started. Third down. Pelurit flush. And he'll run for a first down. Oh, what a hit. He dropped the ball. Singletary put a hit on him on the slide. Bears have the football. Will they keep it? The key question is, how is Steve Pelor? He took a wrap that time. Boy, you know, he's just starting into the slide when he gets stuck. Well, certainly the most important question is the health of Pelor off the hit. But I think another question, Dan, is he was trying to slide in there. He's supposed to get protection from that. Well, he just started to slide. Now, here he is coming back and setting up. He doesn't see anything immediately downfield, so he sees a lane to run in. He takes advantage of that. Now, watch when he gets along the numbers. He goes into the hook slide, but, boy, he got sandwiched in between two bear defenders, key among them, Mike Singletary, and they really put a stick on him. Maurice, Maurice Douglas, Douglas was the other guy. Now, watch this again from the right in close. Maurice Douglas comes in in the back, and Singletary takes him out in the front. Boy, I tell you what, that's a tough shot to take. Earlier today on the NFL Today, they talked about quarterbacks getting injured. What can you do? Well, this is the kind of thing that if you're going to run that football, you got to hit the ground before those defenders have a chance to get to you just Doug to protect your own self. Maurice Douglas made the initial contact and then Singletary, so it was a tough sandwich on Pelour. Al Harris came up with the loose ball, and uh, there was no flag on the play that uh, I'm aware of as yet, and therefore uh, the feeling must have been that it was a legal hit. Uh, the fact being, as, as you indicated, Dan, that uh, maybe he didn't get that slide established soon enough soon before enough. the defensive players could prevent themselves from putting the hit on him. He's still a runner to them at that point. Well, you know, Paul Hackett, the quarterback coach of the Cowboys, mentioned to us the other day, he said, hey, look, I'm trying to teach this young guy, you know, slide in there, don't take that chance, because he's always trying to win this team, is what he said. He wants to win over the guys. Hey, I'm the starting quarterback, and I'm going to be a good guy for you. But you can't do it if you're taking a walk to the sideline and you're half conscious. You have to take that slide and take what the defense is giving you and, and get yourself down on the ground and protect yourself. Well, uh, and the Dallas Cowboys early in this game, at least in, from a running game standpoint, have been fairly right-handed. Seem to like running behind uh, Tom Rafferty, Crawford Kerr, and Kevin Gogan up there. Those big guys over in the right offensive side of the ball for the Cowboys. Herschel Walker likes to feature those big men up front over there. First down, Dallas. Bear 36, and this time they stuck Newsom right at the line of scrimmage. Hampton slipping between blockers. And making the stop. Well, Dan Hampton told us that if he gets one-on-one -on -one with a guy, he feels like he's always going to beat him now. He's working one-on-one -on -one with the center. He just slip blocks there off of Rafferty, and he meets Timmy Newsom in about two yards in the backfield. Newsom's forward momentum got him about a half yard, so it's second and a long nine from the 35 of Chicago. All-pro Dan Hampton having an all-pro year again. with the play or the count, one or the other. Right under pressure, 
Fletcher is set. Back to the 40-yard line. McMichael and Dante Jones. Well, you know, when you get down in this area, this is the area inside that 40-yard line where the Bears like to bring the blitz, and that's what they do this time. Number 53, Jones, he comes from outside, steps back inside. He had Gogan working up, up the field, and then you see that Singletary and all those guys get in in the middle, McMichael, and they just close it down. That'll leave third down and 15. Todd Crum and Lemuel Stinson, two more rookie defensive backs, come in. talk about Pro Bowl efforts is nobody's been playing a better on a defensive line in 76 Steve McMichaels you're gonna see him coming from the, the right side of your screen he beats Gogan there and he just rips Danny White got him on that inside move worked him up the field about two yards and then came right up underneath Gogan realized that Gogan's a big offensive tackle not as nifty on his feet people have on him he's gone look at those numbers what an awesome year He's an awesome person. I really like this guy. You know, he's got so much about his personality that, that's there to like. He's a good, wholesome guy. First down, Dallas. Zach Hampton. Third Chicago sack on the Dallas quarterbacks, and Hampton hurt on the play. You see, Dan looks like he is in a lot of pain. And when a guy like him has had as many operations and injuries as he has had over his career, lays down on the field, you know it's bad. He is not one to lay down for the camera. We will definitely get a report to you as quickly as we possibly can. One of the big guys that look like he got hit in that, in that tailbone there. He's holding his hip a little bit. Now here he is right in the middle of your screen, number 99, Dan Hampton. He's going to come in on the sack. Now, there you see him working over the center. He beats him right now. Gets a little pressure from the guard there. That's Nate Newton, and he just grabs a hold of Danny White. And there you see that somebody is sitting right on his back there, and that's where he got that shot on the hip. Yeah, I think it might have been his own man, uh, Maurice Douglas, who was uh, coming in to help with the tackle. Uh, it looked like he might have made contact with his helmet. Uh, also wants that he wants to be a, the best possible football player he can be, and that includes running the ball, blocking, and catching passes against the best defense in the league. Boy, Steve McMichael, 76. I said it before, this guy has, is having an all-pro season. This time he gets a lot of help with the blitz. Outside linebacker Rivera coming in to help him out. No place for Danny White to run. He can't run up and step up in the pocket, and he can't turn outside because he's got linebackers coming. And as a result, he gets the trap. Well, Dallas has done very well in sacks allowed. Only five in the first six games of the season. Their big offensive line has done the job. Today they've already given up four. White, but uh, Pelor knocked out of action with a concussion early in this game. White sacked five sacks in the first half for Chicago. Hampton this time. Well, I tell you what, Tom Rafferty just got ran over at the center position, and Dan Hampton just Guys, made tracks to the quarterback. Out. Dallas, number two. Five seconds left. Dallas timeout. I said earlier that Dan Hampton told us if he can't beat a guy one-on-one, -on -one, then he shouldn't be playing anymore, and that's when he's going to give it up. Here he works against Newton. Now it takes that inside move off the twist where McMichael comes inside. He goes outside, leaps over Rafferty there, and just grabs Danny White. Now Danny had the, didn't have the opportunity again to step up in the pocket because there's big pressure coming right in the middle of that pocket, and there's nowhere else to run. He did the smart thing by just taking the sack instead of throwing the football away. Dan Hampton, another all-pro year. Bears have matched the number of sacks given up by Dallas through six games in the first half of this game today. Hey, this guy here, Dan Hampton, is Bogart tough. 
You know, he's one of those kind of guys that plays with the injuries. You look at his hands, they're all broken up, but that's the kind of guy he is. Just tough Arkansas kid. I think he's got a helmet in 